everyone. Today, well, today. And now for something completely different. Now, of course, I live and breathe Monster Hunter. I essentially wake up and I'm already playing it, but that doesn't mean I don't have a few side hoes. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. And I have been inundated with uh, Yo, so do you do you play anything else other than other monsters? No, what 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 are you what are you playing in the moment? Is there anything else anything else going on? So I thought that seems like a fun little video actually. Why don't I go over what it is that I'm doing in my gaming life that you don't get to see? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you're about to literally see it, so I guess that was that was a premature evil laugh. And you know look, that that happens, all right? Sometimes that that does happen. I, I think you can take something for it. So the main game that I am pouring time into right now is actually a little bit of a nostalgia trip because it's Final Fantasy XII. More specifically, the remake that got released a year or so back. And the thing is, I didn't realize that actually existed. So, 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 on PlayStation 2, which was a glorious age, I had a lot of fantastic memories. But chief among them, and perhaps contesting for best, was Final Fantasy XII. I think it is categorically the best Final Fantasy, but I know that's kind of divided. It very much sits in the realm of you either love it or you hate it. It's final Marmite, but I do adore it, and it's by far my most enjoyable Final Fantasy experience. And a few weeks ago, I was like, I kind of, I kind of want to play a Final Fantasy. I don't know which one to do. So I initially went with 15. It's the latest one, so I looked it up if it was worth it. Found out that, yeah, it has its charm, but, you know, you need to watch a six-episode anime, a film, write a thesis, go study abroad for two weeks, and then you're kind of ready to begin with a good mind for the story. So I started playing, and I, I, it's, it's okay. The world's cool. You know, I think Cindy's a great character with lovely personalities, but the combat with it, ah, the relationship between the four friends is a lot of fun, and I can see myself finishing it, but what happened was, before I got too deep into it, I happened while looking up things to do with the game across the fact that there was a remaster of 12, and I was like, I am sorry! Sorry, Final Fantasy 15, but... Goodbye, for, like, honestly, get out, get out of my life right now, because I need this! So I installed that, and I, I was kind of worried, because, look, when you play a game from your childhood, there's always every chance that you're like, oh, this is not as good as I remember, I've ruined my happy memories. Like, actually, with Dark Chronicle, I tried that again recently. It's a fun little JRPG. You eventually rebuild towns, and you see the ramifications of that in the future. You see how the town you've built flourish, and it's a really neat idea and concept, and it was a lot of fun. I really thoroughly enjoyed it, but it has not aged well. Not at all. I was like, oh, no, I can't. It's so bad now. Fortunately, then, with Final Fantasy XII, it's not been the case. I am, like, 20 hours deep again. I don't like the new license board system. I like just having full free reign customizability, but it does give a bit of direction, so it's whatever. But, yeah, I'm very much enjoying it. I am... Um, oh, it, it's it's kind of very satisfying. It's like a proper itch to relive a nostalgia fueled gaming adventure from when you were younger. I think everyone every now and then needs that. Just just a little bit. Just just a tad. There is a real happiness and a joy into it. The game is still surprisingly not a complete walkover. It's definitely easier than I remember, but that makes sense. It was what, 12 years ago? So I'm 25 now, which I know, I know I'm 25. <laughs> I'm so old, and that was what I was 13, maybe yeah, 13ish. Yeah, when it when it came out. So I guess it makes sense that I'm finding it easier than I did. But I is satisfyingly not a complete walkover. I still like the characters, except Fran. I, I don't know what it is, but I just never really 
cared for her. So whenever I get a bit of time and I don't get a lot, maybe an hour or two a day if I'm lucky where I'm not working making videos for you guys, which don't get me wrong, is absolutely fine. I adore what I do and I'm very lucky and you guys are more than worth the effort, but I I don't get a lot of a lot of whatever I want. <laughs> Whatever I want me time, I'll, I'll be honest with you. And I like to squirrel it away at playing Final Fantasy XII, but that's not everything that's been going on. As we all know, or at least probably some of you, Battle for Azeroth, the latest WoW expansion, is coming out very soon, and you know, as the hopeless addict that I am, I have like 300 days of playtime. In fact, I think more <laughs> over the years. So I, of course, want to check that out. Look, I can't help it. Whenever I hear... More than the Wait. Did I leave the oven on? Chills. Oh, I do. That trailer did something to me. So, of course, I've got to go slay Alliance Scum. I definitely do want to kind of calm it down in BFA. After running a Mythic Raiding Guild throughout all of Legion, I am kind of exhausted on that front, though... I do think my favourite moment was getting Mythic kill Jaden. That cutting edge was just, ah, oh, it was electric. The screaming and celebrations and everyone was so happy and so many pulls and so much time. Arcus really just not the same, but no, I really like Legion. It was a fun little expansion and I have high hopes for BFA. I really do. But I definitely plan on playing it at least somewhat casually, leveling up and experiencing the expansion storyline and seeing what happens, really. It's always a lot of fun each time. Got a group of friends gonna play as well and essentially every expansion's a nice little experience and I never want to miss out on that. It's always something worth for enjoying and remembering. So that's gonna happen. My only real question is I don't know what class to play. I'm so torn between mage, rogue, and warrior. <laughs> Even a little bit of Hunter in there as well. So I would love to know any of you guys that plan on playing uh, Battle for Azeroth. I do actually have one of those Battle.net and also WoW, like, groups that's like a guild, but not a guild. It's it's new, I, I think. I'll put the links to both of them in the description if you want to join and play with me and Cotton and a few others as we go through the expansion. So, you know, that, that could be... Kind of cool. Apart from that, then, there is one main other contender after a few little smatterings, like I occasionally still working through Divinity Original Sin. Le okay, let me put that in perspective. Divinity Original Sin 2 has been out for, what, over a year now? And I have still not found enough time to complete it, because that's how little time I get. <laughs> I mean, granted, I'm playing it in a group of three, so everyone's schedules have to line up, but hot damn. Less than a year, actually, but still a fairly lengthy amount of time. The other main one, though, that I am indulging upon outside of various anime that I'm watching. Hey, hey, Deku. You have legs. Other some such TV shows. I actually realized there was a whole series of Doctor Who I hadn't watched the other day. So, you know, I got on that right quick. Though, I somehow feel like it's gone down in quality a little bit. Either that or my tastes have changed. But, you know, David Tennant is, of course, still the best. Don't at me. And uh, the main other one is Rainbow Six Siege. I played it like it was a religion when it first came out for a couple months. I really loved it. And then kind of went off it and hadn't played it for the longest time, occasionally getting pulled in because the bulk of my group of friends still plays it a lot. But then a couple months ago, I got back into it and really fell for it again. And uh, pretty consistently, every couple days, we hop on and we have quite a few games and every now and then as well we split into two groups of five and fight each other for a few hours while one of our friends also casts it which is really kind of cool feels like proper pro matches but with our casual trash shells I'm I'm only a gold four it's not that great but you know I do what I can all right I do what I can and I do think that more than likely it's the best shooter I've ever played at least best multiplayer competitive shooter I've ever played it really has come a long way and it really really is a lot of fun. It is one of the most deeply satisfying when things go 
right and ah uh, when they don't, but in a good way that I've ever experienced, and I really do love that. So, I realize that maybe breathe, but I would definitely recommend at the very least Siege in Final Fantasy XII, and obviously, you know, Monster Hunter is still the bulk of everything, long may it rain, but I, oh, and I guess a smattering of Overwatch every now and then, occasionally I do a Hearthstone game, maybe like once every couple weeks, there are a few little remnants of the past that still creep on through, and more than likely, there's a lot that I have missed, but I wanted to at least answer the question, what am I currently doing with my gaming self? There's a lot I'm looking forward to. I mean, I played God of War through recently, the new one. Absolute masterpiece. An amazing game. But essentially, I I get through a fair amount, honestly. I, I don't know if you'd like me to do this, like, once a month, like, what I'm currently kind of doing. That could be fun, right? That could be fun. I know this is super off the wall compared to my usual stuff. I know most of you probably aren't watching this, so if you are listening to my current word now and actually did check this out, thank you. Like, aww. <laughs> but yeah, that's about that. I hope that was all you wanted and more. My name has been Josh. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. A oh, good boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo. But I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song. And don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.